வெற்றிவேல் முருகனுக்கு அரோகரா ஞானவேல் முருகனுக்கு அரோகரா பாலினால் நருணையால் பழத்தினால் பயின்றாற்றி நூலினால் மனமாலை கொணர்ந்தடியார் புரிந்தேத்த சேலினால் வடை வயல் புடைசூல் செங்காட்டங்குடியதனுள் காளினால் கூற்றுதைத்தான் கணபதி சரத்தானே நாளும் நம்மை நன்னெறிப்படுத்தி வரும் திருக்கையிலாய வரம்பரை மெய்கண்டார் வழி வழி பேரூர் ஆதீனம் இறைதிரு சீர்வலசீர் சாந்தலிங்க ராமசாமி அடிகளார் மற்றும் அவ்வழி நின்று வழி நடத்தும் சீர்வலசீர் சாந்தலிங்க மருதாசல் அடிகளார் பொன்னார் திருவடி வணங்கி முருகன் அடியார்கள் அனைவருக்கும் என்னுடைய பணிவான வணக்கங்களையும் வாழ்த்துக்களையும் தெரிவித்துக் கொள்கின்றேன் த இம்பார்ட்டன்ஸ் அண்ட் பெனிஃபிட்ஸ் ஆஃப் அபிஷேகம் அபிஷேகம் ஆல்சோ நோன் ஆஸ் திருமஞ்சனம் ஆர் திருமுழுக்கு forms an integral part of our tamil prayer the four main pillars of the saivism tirunyana sambandhar tirunavukkarasar sundaramurthi nayanar manikya vasagar advocated four main ways to get the blessing of god namely sariyai kiriyai yogam jnanam the second one that is kiriyai comprises everything related to prayer abhishegam alangaram peroli valibadu malar valibadu and other prayers fall under kiriyai first of all abhishegam is not in tamil word as mentioned earlier the tamil equivalent for this word is tirumanjanam or tirumulukku long ago 26 abhishegam porul were used during abhishegam the same were later reduced to 18 and now almost all kovils use 12 abhishegam porul to do abhishegam there is a specific order to do abhishegam the list of the abhishegam porul and other order is as follows water anaindu also known as panjagavyam manjal safran maapodi ground rice panjamrutham nei maate pal jile thayir jile kai ten jimiel karumbu charu can juice palacharu fruit juice ilanir kokotan sandanam pannir rose water and tiruneeru the more we have the holy bath of main god of our kovil the more it sacrificed and more blessing we will get from him that's why the practice of conducting abhishekam in kovils has existed even before the sangam age and till now we are still maintaining this practice as it was before now the question is why must we use different abhishega porul different items are used to give the holy bath of god because each and every item that it is used has its own importance water forms an integral part of abhishegam without water no abhishegam can be conducted the reason why water is used to, is to get rid of next birth as tirunavukkarasar said பேர்த்து இனி பிறவா வண்ணம் பிதற்றுமின் பேதை பங்கன் செகண்ட்லி ஆன் ஐந்து இஸ் யூஸ்டு டியூரிங் அபிஷேகம் ஆ மீன்ஸ் கவ் அண்ட் ஐந்து மீன்ஸ் ஃபைவ் பால் மில்க் தயிர் ஜிலேக்காய் நெய் மாத்தேக் கோமயம் அண்ட் கோமலம் ஆர் த ஃபைவ் ப்ராடக்ட்ஸ் விச் வி கெட் ஃப்ரம் த கவ் all this mixed together are called on aindu the reason for using on aindu is simply to get rid of all our sins and bad deeds the same has been said by tirunavukkarasar paavamum palivatra aravenduvir aavinil aindu ugandaadum 
third giving holy bath using manjal saffron and maapodi ground rice or other powders respectively is very significant the use of these two items is simply to eradicate the darkness which is called ignorance from our life next a mixture of five sweets pal nei and three fruits which is called panjamridam is used during abhishegam the benefit of using panjamridam is prolong our life and ultimately grant as mukti the next item is used during abhishegam is nei matek nei is used to during holy bath so that god bestows everybody with a good life next pal milk is used during abhishegam is bestow devotees with a long life thayir jilekai curd is the next item is during the abhishegam thayir is used to help us to get out of our problems moreover it also bestow us with the wealth which is called that is begetting good children kulandai peru the next item is used during abhishegam is ten honey ten has the characteristics of cleaning and cleaning things therefore the use honey ten during the abhishegam is purifying ourselves and at the same time to grant us clarity to speech and education karumbu charu sugar cane juice that is sugar cane juice is used during abhishegam to bestow us with good health and grant us mukti next panjamridam is used the juice is different fruits is poured of the main god during abhishegam for the following reasons to give us happiness to remove the fear of dying to get rid of sadness and arid eradicate hostility the next item used elaniru kokotan the benefit of the elaniru is bring luck in our life the next sandanam is used the benefit of sandanam is to be maintain good governance in all spheres of life and at the same time amass wealth sandanam is a sign of prosperity paneer rose water also is used during abhishegam the reason why it is used to bring the coolness in our life the last item used tiruniru there are many reasons why tiruniru is used as mentioned by tirunyana sambandhat in is tirunitru tirupadigam tiruniru is to get rid of all evils from our life and at the same time bestow us with all the types of wealth as he mentioned in the last verses satriya paadalgal pattum nallavar vallavar thame that is those who sing in praise of tiruniru shall be the noble ones on earth now the second question why must we do paal abhishekam in god muruga it has always been the practice to pal abhishegam for god muruga especially on the day of kavadi we are by all devotees will offer pal abhishegam to god muruga the reason behind this practice is very simple and scientific pal is pure in itself when we give the holy bath of muruga using pal we are purifying the silai and in written muruga removes all the negatives from our from our life furthermore the cow eats food irrespective of whether the food is toxic or not and when it give us milk the same is pure the cow will never give us toxic milk if it happens to eat a toxic plant just like that by offering pal abhishekam we purifying ourselves and in return god muruga blesses 
in many ways irrespective of whether you are the good or bad person. Therefore, when you go to Kovil, please offer to God Muruga any of the afford mentioned Abhishek Purul depending on your means. Mikka Nandri Vetivel Muruganukka Rogara Nyanavel Muruganukka Rogara. Shiva Baba.